So today we're checking out the S09 Auto Resistance Exercise Bike by Merrick. I want to thank them for sending this over to review on the channel. I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. I found this one fairly easy to unpack, although I will mention it's got quite a bit of weight to it, so you may need someone to help. Once you get everything out, it's just a matter of putting the feet or stabilizers on each end of the bike. There's also a metal piece to remove where the handlebars are, which has your wiring. You just fish that up through the handlebar riser and then just pop the little small black piece to hold it in place. Then just put the handlebar on, connect the wire, and tighten it up below with the handle. If you haven't put together an exercise bike, this one's actually pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of time to screw everything on. The pedals have threads on the end. You just kind of turn those on and then tighten them up with the included tools. You'll see the pedals have sort of a plastic cage there on top to hold your foot in place, and you can tighten them down there on the sides. You've also got a water bottle holder that's held on with two screws right right below the seat. But that's pretty much it as far as assembly goes. You just plug it in down towards the back. A nice thing about this one is got push dial controls. Sort of reminds me of my Nest thermostat. You can push it in for more information or turn it left or right for less or more resistance. I test out the tablet holder. It can hold an iPad mini six all the way up to around 11 inches or so like the iPad Air, iPad nine. Unfortunately, you won't be able to use a 12.9 inch iPad Pro size with this mount. Merrick also has their own training app that you can connect to this. It's got several different modes or spin type classes. Also has free training. This bike's also going to work with other fitness apps out there, but I feel like it works best with the official app from Merrick. And the nice thing is you've got the push dial controls to still keep track of your stats while watching movies, TV shows without having to switch back and forth between apps. You can also pedal forwards or backwards on here as well. Well, that's always nice to have. And I feel like you've got a little bit better adjustability on this one versus the other two bikes I've reviewed, making this one a little more comfortable to use. And I'm right at six feet tall. I'll have to test this one quite a bit more yet, but so far it definitely feels like a nice step up from the other bikes that I've tested. It seems like it's well built. This one's definitely a nice option, especially if this is your first exercise bike. And you've also got the wheels there at the front. So it's easy to tilt this one using the handlebars and move it around if you would need to.